Welcome to Airbrush Review SA in conjunction with Pelaguns.com. We are doing a Springer air gun review today. Just the basics, it's not in depth review. It's just going to tell you what comes in the box. We're going to unbox this thing right now just to show you what it comes with. Um, so we've got the Kroll Air Arms Rifle, it's the Kroll AV. So it says it is the, look there. It says the N01 Max Full Air Rifle and it's a 5.5 breakneck barrel and it's in the color of the camo, like my shirt. So let's see how it looks inside the box. So feast your eyes on this little baby. Look at that. How nice does that camo look? It's nicely packaged. It's in a nice covering. Um, let's just take it out here comes with a little manual I don't know what it says in the manual but let's see uh, yeah it shows you where and how to use the gun where to put in the pellet how to adjust up and down with your sights where the safety sits and how to adjust your trigger so it's adjustable trigger that's pretty nice um, yeah for foremost and they even show you how to aim through it that's how you should aim where the pellet should go you see that is quite nice and nifty of them to do that to show you how to set it in. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go, more. Ah, it's just a lot of gibberish. Nobody ever reads the manual. But yeah, it is there for your convenience. Plastic. So what I see first is, it looks like a true glow sight. It's like those optic uh, cables in here. So the sun, when it hits that, it will then make this little sight in the front brighter. Look at that. That's quite nifty. I like that. I mean, this egg, this little springer, if you feel it, it's quite light. So this is gonna be for the whole family. Shoulders nice. What, what's really nice is it's even got the true glow sights at the back here. If you have a look at that, look how they glow. Cause the sun, when it hits on the top here, it shines that. That's pretty cool. It's got the windage and elevation up and down to set your um, sights in. Uh, it's 5.5. We will put it over the crony now. It's got the safety like they said. It's got a metal trigger. And let's see how this one performs. We're going to shoot it on about 25 meters with uh, the H&N 18.13 grain pellets. So I'm pretty excited to use those. Um, what else do I see here? Nothing else. It's just got a very nice colorful camo and sounds like it's plastic um, yeah it's covered nicely with this camo style and it even has this knurling or indentations here for your grip so you won't slide if it's like wet uh, it's got a butt pad which is like a rubber check that uh, and you got place to put on a scope look at that it's got a dovetail 11 millimeters or something like that that it's got yeah so you can put on a scope but remember not all scopes love springers so i i suggest the springers put on a nice um buffer at the back here if you want to put on a scope so it can absorb all that power that's coming through here from the spring knocking to the front so you won't knock off your crosshairs on your scope but generally i think you don't need it you just need to shoot with open sights. It's way more funner to shoot with the open sights the whole time. So let's go put it down 25 meters and let's see what we can hit. We've got a whole lot of little targets to hit there. And yeah, let's go check it out. So we are 25 meters. Just before I do my five shot grouping, I just want to tell you a little bit about this um, way we're shooting. So what we've seen is what the people do is when, once you break the neck and you put in your pellet have a look at this don't just put it like that you'll see your skirting is sticking out a little bit just make sure that you put enough effort just to get it down in the barrel once that is in the barrel when you bring it up don't just slam it just bring it up slightly until it clicks like that as easy as that and then another thing that i've noticed what people do is they rest it on the barrel on the springers you are going to get point of impact change if you do that please do not do that especially rather put it on the stock 
But what I've also noticed, people just plonk it on the stock with the breakneck barrels, with it moving and, and so on here at the bottom. If you let it fall, it's going to move that one millimeter until it clips. Then you're obviously going to get point of impact change once again. So when you put it down on these, just put it down softly and then off you go. So I'm shooting freehand here off the back. Um, that's how generally people shoot with the springers. If you want to get more accurate, you can put a sandbag at the back. But this is more of a f like fun air gun to shoot in the back garden with your fam family and friends. Because this is where you learn how to shoot an air gun, is with the springers. All of you out there can say your first air gun was a springer. Because this is how we all learned how to shoot, with your little washing pegs there at, at the end of the yard, shooting those all like little um, Coca-Cola um, caps, can you call it? You put it there, shoot that. I mean, if you shot that with a springer, you know you are really good. So I've got a little size there on the drum that I've marked there. So let's see how it goes at 25 meters, five shots. With the H&N. 18.13 grains these are awesome pellets look at them look at that these pellets do contend these are really good pellets so we've got them in here i will tell you the speeds right now um, we shot it through the crony but let's stop talking let's do a little bit of shooting okay so i'm using one point there as my aim point You'll see on the camera, the right down there, so we'll show you. So, <clears throat> let's go for it. We're going to shoot for a little bit of a grouping. To shoot with open sights is really another story. It's not as easy as the scopes and so on, but this is like what I said, where you can start learning on how to shoot properly. So obviously that group size there doesn't show know how to shoot, but it is at least it's something. So every little minute way you move around you're going to get a different impact. But these guns are generally very, very accurate for a Springer. Let's go look at that grouping downrange. So here was my aim point. So here's my five shots with the Springer, which ain't too bad. Obviously, you can get a bit different accuracy if you shoot differently. But yeah, this is not too bad. Let's do a little bit of plinking here. He has a lot of targets downrange. So let's go shoot a little bit of plinking. So I'm going to shoot those little dual entry targets down there. There's about six of them. So let's see out of six shots how many I can hit. <laughs> it's going to be quite fun. Let's see what I can do. Here's the one. There's the other. I think this is the last shot, eh? Cameraman, is it the last shot? It's the last shot, so... Ha! Okay, it is what it is. Let's see. Let me just finish them off. I mean, we can't just shoot and not shoot all of them. Miss. 
para pas. There we go. This is pretty cool. Love shooting these springers. There's another one. I'm getting there slowly but surely. See guys, this is how you do it with a springer and it's quite fun. Just need a lot of practice, that's all it is. Yeah! I got it, Alvin. How many shots I got all of them turned around? Okay, this is pretty fun to shoot. Um, you're gonna fly through your pellets and you don't need to use air. It's pretty cool. So it's a power plant on its own, just got a spring. Um, do not dry fire it without a pellet in. It does damage this, the piston going forward, uh, the seals and so on. So do not do that. Do not spray any oil causing it to diesel. Uh, dieseling means that that um, oil, whatever is down your barrel, will ignite and it will have like a, quite a loud bang and then also it will smoke a little bit out of the barrel. Please do not do that because you will then void your warranty on these guns. So just keep on shooting pellets downrange. If you want to clean the barrel, you can just put those little pellet wads through. Um, it's those little spongy type pellets, shoot them through and you should be generally okay. These H&N pellets, they don't lead that much in your barrel and they do pretty good in these um, Springer guns. I'm happy about this gun. Um, it looks pretty cool. It's all camo style. It's not heavy It's not, uh, and, it's, and it's quite light. Uh, it's not that quiet because obviously you can hear the spring hitting the front here. But <laughs> I'm, I'm really liking it for the first springer gun review that we've done on airbros review uh this is quite nice i mean obviously if you have a look at the price class that it comes in you will not beat it anywhere uh and it's not a chinese make which is quite good this is coming from crawl it's a turkish breakneck barrel air gun love it if you don't have a lot of money this is in the low budget class where everybody can now also enjoy shooting the whole family can have fun with it, be safe, and we'll see you in the next review. Cheers for now.